we have failed. Well, ho there. What a pleasant surprise. I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. Far away, God willing. Built bridges say the wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. New Eden is a fascinating study for you and I. But for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. Leaving sounds right to me, if these people learn from their mistakes. They repent, Mistress Duarte. A new start elsewhere, away from the place in which they sinned, will do them good. Spoken like a leader. I fear, however, that not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. We overheard you. What are you working on? I, to my horror, am working on a speech. It's... well, it's terrible. I don't even know where to start. I'd speak of past mistakes, and how they show you the way to a better future. That might just work. Thank you! Are things that bad? Tell the truth, I don't rightly know. They don't trust me. They tell me nothing, and when they do, they're probably lying. And without the wards... Well... I fear things will get worse before they get better. In fact, they already have. Spectres walk, and we are in need of a banisher. Or two. If you can bring people peace, well, I doubt they'll be grateful, but perhaps they should have the strength to believe in a brighter future. Very well, Lammy. We'll see what we can do to help your people. Thank you. If you need anything, I'll be here. I'm no use anywhere else. To do. A new building needs a solid foundation. I wonder if ghosts still linger. Words have power. The right speech at the right moment can change the world. I heard General Count von Stahlenberg speak to his troops once. It didn't look like much, but when he spoke, soldiers listened. When all seemed lost, he filled their hearts with courage, hope, and rage against the enemy. It's quite the speech. What did he say? I don't know. I don't speak German. Excuse the mess. Another bottle broke. It's no big business. Are you sure you're all right? You seem a little overwhelmed. Uh, a bottle fell from its shelf. No big business, Mr. McWraith. Happens all the time. Are you all right? If you must know, sir, I have a drinking problem. Really? I do. My liquor disappears. My bottles fall to the floor and break, though I'm nowhere near. It is a drinking problem indeed. Objects inexplicably vanishing, moving or breaking. Either you're haunted or you're clumsy and you think. Haunted, you say? Mm, well, Your Majesty, why not? As the saying goes, when life gives you a torrent of shit, may as well be haunted. You could be in danger. To be haunted is really good. Well now, that is bad news. 
Which is good, because I don't believe in good news. I'm offering you my help. Can you afford to refuse it? I don't believe in helping hands either. But if you want to do whatever it is you do, please feel free to do it. When did the bottle breaking start? I don't know. I gave up on keeping track of time or things. Normally, if a bottle disappears, I drank it and forgot. But I'm not wrong about this. In quiet moments, I hear the bottle glass crack. When I'm not there, the liquor moves about. Other times, they dare to fall of a sudden out of nowhere and break upon the floor. The shelves are straight and proper stacked. I had Ishmael check. It is a mystery, right enough. Ishmael and you were close, I believe. Oh, how folk love to talk. They're wrong. There's nothing improper between me and Ishmael. He works for me and we enjoy each other's company. He's a good friend who lives upstairs. I have my own little house across the way. Ah, oh, talk of an angel. Hear the flutter of his wings. Phoebe, what's the matter? Oh, good day. Uh, what can I well, do? Well, it's just another bottle broke. I'd blame my butterfingers, but Mr. Banisher here thinks we may have a ghost. God take my soul. I'm sorry. The spilled liquor. The stink. Come now. Come now. I'm... Sorry. All is well, Ishmael. Breathe. Just breathe. It's just another worry fit. You'll be fine. While he gets back on his feet, let's look around. Broken glass. She said bottles in her house shifted and fell. We should check it out. Half our operation wiped out at a stroke. Curses are bad for business. <laughs> nice abacus. Imagine trying to use one of those after a bottle of rock gut. <sighs> Poor Ishmael has fits of worry. I feel like he panicked when I mentioned the ghost. The governor disliked Mistress Walcott's manner. What a surprise. They've been playing for years. I'm keeping the score. Either Ishmael's getting better or Phoebe's getting worse. For Constance, Phoebe's a painter. This is just an easel, no paints. Unfinished work? Why would you name a painting before starting it? Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. Her own warehouse and pier at Covenant Beach. The abandoned building we saw by the beach, maybe. What can a ghost only communicate by breaking wee bottles? A feeble ghost? Capable only of small mischief? Something's nearby. Where is it? Phoebe likes a drink. Or five. Maybe that vexes our mysterious ghost. This is sad as it is disturbing. Despite her defiance, her past batters her. A ghost was here, not long ago. I know Phoebe and Ishmael are friends, but that's a generous will. Our shy, bottle-breaking ghost also hides things. Why the will? Everything Ishmael has, he gets from her. 
Perhaps the ghost believes he's taken advantage. I doubt there's anything more to be found here. Let's go back to the store and ask a few more questions. Have you found your ghost? How's Ishmael? Feeling better, is he? He's cleaning up the broken glass. I've buggered off till he's finished, and you should too. Would you know, by any chance, what, what pulls the trigger on his crises? He deals with his pain as best he can, like all of us. You leave him alone now, yeah? Your troublesome ghost meddles with more than your booze. It also hid your will. I knew things were vanishing. It wasn't just the liquor. Whose ghost do you think might hide your liquor and your will? Sounds like my long-dead husband's particular brand of mischief. Ghosts may linger long in the invisible before returning. If you've liquor stocked elsewhere, I'd like to check it. I would too, sir. But I abandoned my warehouse some time ago and I've since lost the keys. Ishmael may have spares. His room is upstairs, right over our heads. A trusted friend, is he? <sighs> Despite his efforts to keep me alive, I consider him my one and only friend. Thank you for your time. I'll take no more of it for now. No matter. I've all the time in the world. Take care. The place is warded. Wet sand. Did Ishmael go to the sea recently? There's a beach by Phoebe Walcott's warehouse. Or is Ishmael running his own business behind his drunk boss's back? A widow, drunk and inconsolable. And a widower, sober and inconsolable. Hmm. Also, a shy, bottle-breaking ghost. That's not a lot to go on. Ishmael took a risk keeping this, especially around here. Was he scared of a ghost? I'd like to ask him about that. Games of strategy, games of chance. This Bible really annoyed him. I hope he kept his opinion to himself. So our mysterious ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. What exactly does this ghost want? There's no clear pattern. Banisher rule number one. A ghost always lingers for a reason. Let's have a chat with Ishmael Law. Mr. Law? How can I help you, sir? Kind of easy to work for someone who drinks so much. Phoebe Walcott deals with her pain the only way she knows. But you, you dislike heavy drinkers, don't you? My friend is wounded by the horrors of the world. She drinks so that she does not weep. But I weep enough for two.
What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Not much, sir. There's a locked warehouse there. The ghost that haunts this store hid the key. That was Mistress Walcott's storehouse, at the centre of her business. It's derelict now. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? I don't know what you are scraping for, mister, but you'll not find it on my boots. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Any time, sir. Think you could take on a ghost? Did we miss a few? Right, let's go find some answers. Ghostly voices stay in this place. I should have killed him! K 
kill that dog with my bare hands. <laughs> Bess, my poor love, forgive me. Ishmael Law drinks just as much as Miss Walcott, except he hides it. So by spilling the liquor and hiding the key to the warehouse... The ghost may be trying to stop him drinking, not her. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. They are corrupted weeds. Ishmael must have been absolutely hammered. A scale fogach smile. to mind you in this miserable life, and none to welcome you to the next. What is this place? Where am I? I'm so sorry, Bess. Ishmael? <sighs> My husband? There is no heaven, and yet I shall go to hell. 
stop torturing yourself. <gasps> yes? But how? Why? <sighs> what have you become, Ishmael Lo? You must stop all of this. Live better. So that's our discreet ghost. Best law. Ishmael has no idea she is back. He probably thinks it was a liquor. We need Bess's tie. That way we can make her manifest. Here, Red. The bag. There's an echo. Written recognition of Ishmael's freedom after the mother of his wife, Bess. We've found our tie. We have the tie. We can make Bess manifest.
You must be wife to Ishmael Law. My name is Antea Duarte. This is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Will you banish the ghost of Bess Law? Will it ease her pain? First things first. You're not after Phoebe Walcott, right? You're here for Ishmael. I don't know why I'm here. I just want the pain to stop. You're dead a long time, Bess. What brought you back now? My husband. His drunkenness roused my pain and brought me back to him. I was nowhere and nothing. And then, all of a sudden, the world appeared with me in it and I saw Ishmael, desperate on the floor. Are you saying that you stay because he was drunk? I stay because I cannot leave. The memory of my pain is growing, and it is unbearable. They brought me back. Ishmael and his pain. That woman and her poison. They must stop. They suffer. They didn't mean to bring you back. Their intentions matter not. Her madness is becoming his. I am trapped in their pain. I am trapped in their pain because of her sway over my husband, and I want it all to stop. We'll take our leave. Expect to be invited to manifest again sometime soon. Don't resist the call. Ishmael and Phoebe will be there. Who? Your husband and his friend. Between us, we'll put an end to all of this. Be quick. I can barely hear my Ishmael now, above the rising, growing pain. Well, we finally unraveled this sad case. Uh -huh. Sadness over pain, over outrage, over guilt. It's a sick dance, isn't it? Ishmael and Phoebe remind me of when I stood for a time. I remember. You're in its sights, Red. I was ruined. The things I'd done, that war, the ghosts of those who died haunted me. I had to choose. Drink myself to death or get rid of my ghosts. You chose well. I got lucky. I found you. And you saved me, Antea, from my ghosts. And you saved me from myself. Watch out! Spectre! <laughs> Spread.
Mr. McGrath, welcome back. Ismail's not feeling well. Best leave him be. More trouble? He had another episode. Same as before. He's fine now. I gave him a drink. And this time, he took it. <sighs> Ismail has history with liquor. Should you be offering him drink? <sighs> I'm the town drunk. What else am I supposed to do? Anyway, he's got a dry stick up his ass. It'll do him good to wet it. It is liquor. I suspect you may be overestimating its medicinal qualities. By dint of extensive experience, I am better placed to estimate the power of liquor than anyone. Side, he always turns it down. Shame, really. Nothing like a sip or two to soothe a troubled soul. Ishmael Law is haunted by the ghost of his wife. But even without her, this whole situation is a mess. Time we all had a wee chat. You too, Bess. Come on. It's time to show yourself. Phoebe Walcott, this is Bess Law. Bess, you already know Phoebe. Bess? My love? How? I thought I was dreaming. You were really here? I was. I am now. And not for long. Please. Oh, your best. The best. His best. Ishmael is fine, don't worry. Or, well, he will be soon. Ishmael has been drinking as much as you do. Liquor won't solve the problem here. Of course it won't. But we'll have some fun while we wait to not solve anything. You make him suffer, woman. And I cannot stand the pain. Talk not to me about pain, lady. You know nothing of my pain. Shut your mouth, Phoebe. You shoot yours, if you can take the bottle from it. Stop rattling each other's cages. It's time to bring this to a close. Phoebe Walcott. You used liquor to dull the pain of a tragic past. You can't have foreseen that it would cause a haunting. But it did. And I must end it. I swear I never wanted to hurt anybody but myself. I know. Do well with it all and do it. If you're not going to give me one for the road, just get it over with. Phoebe, my dear Phoebe, there really was no other way. This way, Bess gets what she needs. Good day to you both. I trust you bring better news. There were hauntings. We ended them. Thank you. Truly. Here's to better days. Well, speaking of that, or not as the case may be, my speech is almost done. And by done, I mean written. I need an ending. 
a high note on which to finish. I was thinking of talking about you. Would you permit it? People don't always trust banishers. Perhaps speak of courage, the spark of fire in their souls. This comes to you so easily. We are always so eloquent. Well, I've led men to war, and fearful men need words of courage. Well put. I shall take it as inspiration as I return to my writing. With the added spice of your profound wisdom, I have faith that this speech will bring much succor to the company. Oh, what remains of it? Good day to you, young Lammy. And to you, my friend. And to you. <laughs>